Good evening, I'm Oriana Botaro and you're watching KTSM 9 News Weekends. Parents are voicing their concerns over drunk driving crashes in El Paso. One mother even starting a petition online that has now reached 600 signatures and three families have personally lost their children to DWI crashes, join forces calling for a change. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltasar is in the studio and he tells us more. Drinking and driving continues to be a huge concern for El Pasoans. So far this year, there have been already multiple fatal crashes suspected to have been caused from the influence of alcohol. And just a few weeks ago, state troopers and El Paso police made 15 DWI-related arrests in just two days. And for our children's voices that we gone here together and unite together to understand each other's pain, grief, hurt, Hernandez lost her son in May of last year in a crash involving a drunk driver who had two prior DWI arrests. Not even a year removed from the tragedy, she's found the will to fight. To lose my loved one has changed my whole life. It's taken a toll in my life. But I'm here standing and pleading with El Paso, Texas to let's make a change. Let's make a difference together. Esther Avina started the petition online at change.org, seeking to help the families of these victims, but also as a concerned mother of two daughters. The petition urges the city to implement regular DWI checkpoints and for the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission to make daily undercover visits to alcohol establishments to ensure they're not serving minors or intoxicated people. Magali Leanos lost her 17-year-old daughter earlier this year to an alleged drunk driver. Her message to people thinking of getting behind the wheel after drinking. Value your lives first because once you choose to drive, it's not only your life, but other people's lives as well. Unfortunately, in this case, it was my daughter. In 2022, there were over 700 DUI related crashes that resulted in 30 fatalities in the El Paso area, according to the Texas Department of Transportation. The numbers for 2023 have not yet been released. In studio, Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News.